Okay, so here's some of the parts I was just talking about. This is our servo holder, which goes onto these two clamps that go around the boom. These are two of our push rod guides, which need to go onto the boom either side of our horizontal fin holder. So we can slide this stuff onto the boom and secure it in place. And then the next thing will be put to put the uh, horizontal stabiliser fin on. OK, so there we have two of our push rod guides installed. And then a bit further down the boom here, we've got our tail servo holder installed. Uh, and this is also still loose, so we can move this around because we haven't yet positioned our tail servo and set up the control rod. So uh, the next thing to do is to install the horizontal fin holder. OK, so here we have the parts for the horizontal fin. This is the clamp that goes underneath the boom. This piece goes on top. And then these screws go down through the horizontal fin and that into there, which clamps it in place. And then the sides of this have uh, screw holes in it that our boom supports go into, um, which we'll come on to a little bit later. OK, and there we have the horizontal fin installed. You can see screws through the top and then down into the clamp underneath. Uh, also make sure you put a good deal of Loctite on these because you don't want them coming undone. Uh, and these aren't done up tight at this stage because we will need to slide this up and down a bit. But uh, nevertheless get some Loctite on there, those at this stage um, and it will gunk those up and make sure they don't move later on. OK, next thing I'm going to install is the push rod, which is a nice simple one. We just put a ball link onto one end and then we can just slide it down through the push rod guides and then clip that back onto the uh, tail control horn at the back of the boom. OK, and there we have the push rod installed. And you can see I can move this and it moves the tail pitch slider and it's going through the tail push rod guys, this one and the one that's out of shot that you can't see. Okay, our next task is putting the bearing onto the drive shaft for our torque tube. And this involves putting this bearing inside this rubber cup and then sliding it down onto our shaft here, which is our drive shaft for the torque tube and then once we've done that uh, we can insert it down into the boom and then the boom can be inserted into the back of the frames however before we do all of that we've got to get this bearing into this cup and we've also got to install it onto the shaft here and importantly CA it in place so it can't move so that's the next step uh, I'm going to do that and just give you some details on that. OK, so I've now got the bearing inside here. Uh, and this is lo loose to move on the shaft here. And what uh, the instructions say that you must do is CA this in place. But it mustn't be CA'd in place in the centre of the shaft. It has to be offset 5 to 7 centimetres from the centre of the shaft. And... Uh, it, it doesn't matter which way you go with that, it can be towards the rear or towards the front, as long as it's not in the middle. OK, so my bearing is now CA'd in place, this is nice and stiff and set. And we now need to slide the shaft drive down into the boom and locate it into our tail gearbox at the back. In order to make that easy to do, it's a good idea to put some oil or some Teflon grease on the rubber here and also put some oil uh, in the end of the uh, boom here so that when you push to slide this rubber down the boom it doesn't get caught or stuck or actually dislodge that and move it from the set position. So grease it up, oil it up and then push it down into the boom until it locates in place. Okay and that's my shaft drive installed into the boom and we can turn this here now and if I show you the other end you can see it's turning the tower rotor when I turn the shaft and that's all nicely located 
So this can now be inserted into the rear of our frames and then we can connect up the boom supports to the horizontal stabiliser here uh, and to the back of the boom, sorry, the back of the frames and then that's our tail all nicely installed and we can tighten up all the various nuts and bolts to hold it in place. Okay, so there we have the boom inserted into the back of the frames. Now in order to get it to go in easily, you will have to slacken off these four bolts this side uh, and the same the other side and also uh, as I mentioned earlier these shouldn't have been done up they should just be loose as well so you can just push the boom in there's a slot which locates into a pin um, inside the, the plastic case here um, and if you don't get that slot lined up properly then the boom won't go in but basically it's very straightforward if, if you've got the aligned lettering like that horizontal on your boom then uh, it should just insert straight in and line up OK. And then the last thing to do is to do up this screw here, which is pinning the boom into that little hole that we saw earlier in the boom to hold that in place so that can't actually slip out at all in flight. So that's our boom installed. And the next thing for us to do is to install the boom supports and then do up the horizontal fin clamp to finish off the tail end of the machine. Okay, so here we have our tail boom supports. We've got these long self-tapping screws which go in the frame end of the boom support and then we have these bolts, fairly short bolts, which go up into the horizontal fin clamp end. And don't forget to lock tight these as well as they are screwing into metal. So I'll go ahead and install these. Okay, so this is the frame end of the tail boom support. And we just have a flat washer here and the self-tapping screw going in. And then at the other end, let's just try and get that okay, here we go. Let's swivel this around so you can see. We've got the cut washer and our bolt with Loctite holding the boom support in place. And that's the tail end of the model, for the most part complete for now until we start trying to install the, the tail servo, uh, as we come back down the boom here you can see we have a uh, let's come out a little bit ok you can see we have the servo holder and the end of our push rod there which doesn't actually have at this point a ball link on it ok so uh, the next thing for us to look at is uh, installing the rotor head which means we've got to build up the rotor head now uh, and we can install that into the frames.